It's time to get your risk on. Hello everybody, thank you for watching my video. My name is Digitalic. I'm a top 100 Grandmaster ranked online risk player. And for you today, with my Anything Goes account, Jenna Talia from Liechtenstein, I've got a game of Classic Fix for you. Now you might be asking, who is Jenna Talia? Uh, well, it's actually, this is actually no Australian win. And I've decided, I uh, no, don't want to do that. There we go. Uh, I've decided that I need to start hiding my identity because I've been getting a lot of people just randomly slamming into me uh, as no Australian win. So I'm thinking that it might be people who know this account, might be some of my viewers, maybe even the odd stream sniper. So we, so we are going to mask our identities best we can. Okay, so I'm the black player. It's my turn to act. Uh, I don't have a lot of great options right now. I do have a lot of material, in, a bit of material in Europe. Um, so I kind of want to get it out of there. I need a take. There's my take here. So, so I'm actually just going to get my take in North America. I'm going to pull back into Kamchatka because I don't really have a good claim on any territory now. Um, and this will kind of give me the option. Hopefully, you know, I can kind of pivot if an opportunity comes about. If not, I can attempt to single stack in... Uh, in Asia for now until, you know, maybe later in the game an opportunity comes out. But I'm okay with single stacking. Uh, let's look at the settings for today's game. They are uh, world domination, classic map, auto setup, six second turn timer, expert automated AI. We're not starting with any bots today. Uh, X, uh, fixed cards, balance blitz dice, no restrictions on rank, alliances are on, but fog blizzards and portals are off. And I'm playing in the second position with my Anything Goes account, Jenna Talia from Liechtenstein. Let's see if I can make an alliance with the yellow so I can get let them know that I want to get out of their out of Europe. And hopefully yellow accepts my alliance request. Or at least they give me a route route a route out. That's really what I'm looking for here. I really don't have good positioning on any kind of a bonus. Okay, so uh, who are we playing today? In the first position, playing as Mitchell Cow. I think that's Slovakia or Slovenia. Czechia. Um, they're playing as yellow. I'm in the second position. Third position, playing as red. We have Shayera Sky. They're from, looks like, Australia. I'll make an alliance with them. Why not? In the fourth position, playing as pink, we've got Alphonse Prentice. In the fifth position, playing as white, we have Clem Dagger from the United States of America. In the sixth position, we've got Sin Soul Sin. Uh, playing as green from the United States of America. I'll make an alliance with them as well. So I really just need to rescue troops. I'm not sure what red's doing, but I'll get I'll get my troops out of there. Let's put the rest here. I'm going to punch into the Middle East out of Africa. I lose a troop, which sucks. And let's get as much as we can out of Europe and preserve our troops uh, as effectively as we can, because that's what... Okay, so maybe I pivot for North America here because it looks like White's going for Australia. Or no, White's leaving Australia. Okay, never mind. Um, so that's not a good idea. But the, really the trick is here, so Red's coming into Africa. That's not surprising. So I think I'm going to be the have-not in this game. We'll, oh, Red's... What did Red roll there? Why didn't they... Red rolled a 2v1. 
when they could have just rolled a 7v1. So red is a beginner. So we'll put red down as a beginner. They could have actually finished Africa if they really wanted to. Okay, so pink finishes Australia. So I'm probably going to lose this four here. Because I don't have a root out with it. I do have an easy take here in um, Yakutsk. Okay, so white blocks my four. So this four is probably dead. I don't think yellow is going to let me get it out. Uh, we really need pink to spend their three. So maybe I can get one turn of value out of it. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to treat it as dead for now. And I'm going to continue to stack in Asia and attempt to survive this game. I'm not sure what green's doing here. Are they thinking about attacking the three and taking the continent? Okay, so they decide to fortify. They pass. They're going to wait a turn or two. And they move into Peru. So they take a very soft approach to their continent. Okay, so yellow's going to bring this five in. Get some value out of that. And then I'm going to bring the five in yet. Okay, so I'm going to put everything here. Lose a troop because I didn't slider blitz, possibly. Okay, a trade would be nice here. I get it. Okay, I'm going to use that be because the odds of me pulling, improving that to a uh, a 10 trade are very low. And it would also mean that I would have to hold five cards, which I don't want to do. Uh, so I'm just going to use the trade now on my next turn. And make me a very like a, a really invaluable kill. Okay, so pink does spend the three in Europe, potentially giving me a turn. Mm, no, now they're going to make me hit a two. I might actually just hit the two at this point. Um, I might just roll a 4v2 because I can't really get those troops out anyway, right? So maybe that's my path to value. Or maybe I put two troops on that and roll a 6v2, hope to have a few troops left over that I can attack again and get all my troops out of Europe. And that's all dependent on yellow leaving me a road to do that. So perhaps they don't do that. Okay, so green continues their, their plight for South America. Now, problem for green is that they don't have any good external positions to get cards. Uh, I mean, they've got a three in Europe which they could very well lose. They do have a three in North America, which they're probably going to lose as well soon. So if I was green, I would worry about that, and I would attempt to get a stack in Asia. Let's see what yellow does. Let's see if they give me, the, give me a road out that I need. I mean, it's not a for sure thing, right? No, they're not going to, unless they're leaving Europe. Okay, so I'm just going to roll the 4v2. Um, if I don't get it, I'm going to... Oh, I forgot to trade. Whoops. Okay, let's hope that I don't die. Because that would be funny if I died. 
because I forgot. I forgot to trade. Let's see if I can get some better lighting here. curious what card I got anyway so I could go for a 10 trade but I'm not going to because I don't want to hold five cards so I really really should have traded there I just totally forgot about it Okay, so pink trades, fortifies a, a Siam, and they give me a path to combine my armies in, in Asia. So it looks like I am going to be the Asian turtle, the no continent player, which is fine. I just have to play safe, not piss anyone off. Look at that. So white goes bad neighbor. Oh my lord. Green's game is almost finished, and so is White's game. Why do they keep punching now that they can't make the kill? So I think White's a beginner. Poor Green. Yeah, White is just a maniac. Because this plan's not going to work. Because you're super, super weak now. Attack red. Why? Why don't you attack red? You're the one with all the troops. Unlucky for me, I wouldn't be able to kill green, even with my trade. Actually, maybe I would, but I'd have to... Okay, so I can only combine my armies. Could actually kill green for four cards here. Problem is, I'll have troops left over here. No, I think I pass. I think it's too much of a spread. But I will line myself up to kill white. Okay. So I do have a stack in Asia now. I'm only holding two cards. I don't have a ton of troops. But I'm not, definitely not the fish in the game. Don't really know what White's problem was there. I don't know what they thought was good about that move, hitting green. Uh, but I definitely tell tells me that they're most likely a beginner. Okay, yeah, let's see what white does. White bots out, so white's a scumbag. Ruins a player's game and then bots out.
Okay, so green player trades, so they're no longer uh, killable. But I do have an opportunity here. My, I have an opportunity to move into North America. This green takes South America again. They do, and do they guard it? If you're going to guard it here, I would guard it on Venezuela because of the bot. Okay, green breaks white. I don't mind that move. White doesn't have cards. Now they don't have a plus five. Okay, yellow's on a very slow claim for Europe. I'm going to head towards North America. And one thing I can do here by blocking off Kamchatka, I can force the bot to go this way. Do I have a trade on three? I don't. I think yellow is an intermediate. Red is a beginner. White is a beginner. Green. Green, I'm going to go with intermediate. So who I've not guessed on? I haven't guessed on... Pink killing me? What are they doing? They're taking territory. Okay, pink's an intermediate, I think. So the bot's going to get a card off this three. Successfully. Okay. What does green do for a card? Okay, they're going to get it here off the UK. It means they're going to have more, more material that they're probably going to lose. They only put enough. They didn't put enough for 100% roll. They do get it, though. Hmm. Yellow doesn't slider blitz. Yeah, I really do think yellow's an intermediate player. But they do take Europe now. And they central center guard it. Okay, so I'm gonna move into North America. It's gonna get a take off the bot. No 
rolling it too, so I gotta I'm gonna slider it for sure. Now if the bot doesn't trade, I can kill it for four cards next turn. If it does trade, then it's gonna upset. And look, orange uh, green pulled back into Venezuela. That's good. If the bot does trade, it's going to upset um probably upset yellow. Oh shit. So green dies for three cards. I'm really hoping I have a trade next turn. I do, a big trade. Okay, that's good. Very good. Red won't be able to kill me this turn. They're gonna break yellow. Okay, so red has two continents and they want to guard it. Okay. Let's see what pink does. Are they going to break somebody? Pink doesn't break anybody. They just get a take. Looks like the bot isn't going to trade, so it looks like I can kill. Looks like I can trade, kill the bot, trade again, unless, of course, yellow does it. Yellow might kill the bot here. Doesn't look like they're going to. Okay, so I'm going to slowly kill the bot. Make sure you're always attacking with enough troops. This wild card, I'll just take the ten, the eight trade. Let's soft guard North Americas. If I get broken, I get broken. Okay, so it looks like Red's playing friendly neighbor with me. Pink might break me. I don't really trust Pink for some reason. But Pink does have all of their stat, their armies locked in Siam, so they're not really that much of a threat. Let's see what Yellow does. Okay, may as well wait on that. Uh, because I have a wild card, right? If I get anything other than a cavalry, I can use my wild card for a 10 trade, right? I like the soft border approach to North America, especially in this situation, because what the what that can do is it can allow my enemies to break me uh, without costing me anything other than my bonus. But that will give me information about who my real enemies are and who and who really trusts me, right? Okay. 
Pink's going to take two territories here. No, they don't. Interesting. Okay. So this is one thing about the Australia position. Is you can get out to an early start by taking Australia early. But then you can find yourself in a situation that if that your opponents are now catching up to you and surpassing you in troop count. So let's see how I did. Okay. So let's use the 10 trade. I sure I am getting a lot of cavalries. Uh, now I wonder what happened to my... To my colorblind settings. These, the shapes are gone. I'll have to look at that after this game. Okay, if red bots, that will be interesting. But red stuck in draft. Wow. Red's the biggest player on the board right now. So a, a bot out from red. Red is offline. Okay. Don't get that attack. Pink wants to be above 13. Okay, so Pink's going to card block me. Interesting. Let's see, so red's offline. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fortify down to protect myself from the bot. I'm also going to leave enough troops up here that I can protect myself from pink. Okay, so red's back. That's good. It's good they gave me that piece of information. So I'm going to just put these troops in front of pink's face. Now that I know that red isn't a bot, I don't have to protect here. Obviously, they can break me. And our alliance is pretty much dead now. They do move the 15. Okay. So they card block me for a turn. What do I have pink as? I pink is an intermediate. Maybe they're an expert. I don't I didn't mind that move. I'm gonna upgrade pink to expert.
Let's get a card and pass. And we go on with our life. <laughs> go on with the game. Hey, pink, pink breaks everyone except for me. It's yellow split guard. And they don't. So they leave themselves open to another break. Take here, the rest there. Try and stay out of trouble. Does pink attempt another break? They should have a trade. They got a 10 trade. Very interesting. So this is helping me. Now, if one of my opponents goes ham on pink, I hope it's red. Well, actually, I hope it's yellow because I would get to go next. I'm going to take in Japan because I want to keep my army as unlocked. I think if I was red, I would start guarding the Middle East. I would pull... I would pull these two positions into the Middle East and combine them. Then we could put territorial, geographical pressure on pink. So yellow's going to cut pink down. Leave their armies locked. Not slider blitzing, so they're losing more troops than they should.
Let's see how pink reacts to this. There's not much they can do. Well, there is now, now that red opened up their army. Okay, maybe that was a smart move by red. Red attacks yellow. They're going to attack me too. Good game. Okay, that's good. It's always good to hear good game. Pink does have access to me. Hopefully I have a trade. Of course not. Why would I ever have a trade? retakes their territory they don't hit me they fortify back to Siam Let's see what yellow does do they suicide they do incredible So now I have to plan my move. I think my move here is to kill yellow and red and leave leave pink. And leave pink locked. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, I got a slider blitz. put 12 troops. I'm going to put some troops here in Iceland. Rest on here. Yeah, this game's mine. Let's, let's put troops here, put some troops here. Now what I'm doing here is I'm making, I don't want pink to be able to, oh, they can get through here. So I did leave one, one path for them. So which way do I want them to go? I think I want them to go into the Americas. Yeah, I'll make them go. Actually, no, I'll make them go this way. So I should have put some here as well. So pink won't be able to do much damage with the six. Okay, well. Now they lose. Okay, so they left themselves. They left themselves locked. Yeah, no 99 on 44. I'm just going to roll it. If I didn't have 99 troops here, if I had something like 80, what I could do is I could actually just um, wait another turn and maybe reinforce this position and then, and then, and then get more. Okay, so let's say good game. And let's attack. Oh, we don't get to finish the game here. We got a bad roll. Oh, 
Well, let's see if we can end it. We can end it on a 2v1. Boom. And that's that's the game. <laughs> okay. So, uh, for red, I had beginner, white, I had beginner, yellow, I had intermediate, green, I had intermediate, pink, I had expert. Let's see how I did. Okay, so yellow was an intermediate. I was right. Red was a beginner. I was wrong. They were intermediate. White was a novice. I said beginner. I was wrong. Green, I said intermediate. Green was a beginner. I was wrong, but I was close. And finally, pink, I said expert, and they were novice. I was way off. Pink played pretty good for a, for a novice. Well, there you have it, folks. Another good game. Another opportunity created by uh, by one of my players, one of my opponents getting uber revenge and then handing me the game because I had the turn order advantage from that play. Uh, if you like the video, guys, please smash that like button for me. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Uh, you and I can get better at this game together. Follow me on Twitch. My link is in the description. Catch me when I'm live. And until I see you next time, you keep fighting that good fight.